What's up my honey bunnies? Welcome back to my channel. Fall is officially upon us and as sad as that may be and as unwelcome as it may be, uh, we have to accept the reality and adapt because as Bear Grylls would say, improvise, adapt, overcome. I thought that I'd do two fall looks for you today, so one like more daytime and one nighttime look so that you can wear them or not or just watch me do them and we'll see i've already got my base done i haven't done my eyebrows yet so i'll go ahead and start with that also these are now my eyebrows with like no makeup obviously i've put my foundation over like my whole face so they're a little bit lighter than they would be this is after the scabs fell off from my eyebrows after my microblading if you want to go check that video out uh, where I documented my whole experience with micropigmentation, not microblading, sorry. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. I don't do them every day anymore, which is cool for me. But since I'm doing a makeup look for you guys, I gotta fix them up a little bit. First, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in medium brown. And I'm filling in my eyebrows wherever I feel like there are areas that are a little bit more sparse than others, so they're a little bit more uniform. And then I'm buffing out that product with the spoolie at the other side of the pencil. For my daytime look, which is what I'm starting with, I think I'm going to use this single shadow from NYX. It's called Cougar. Cause I don't know, it's giving me fall vibes. So I'm applying that yellow shade onto my eyelid and really trying to pack that pigment on and upping the intensity of the color as much as possible so that I can show it off because it's such a beautiful yellow. And even though I would totally wear the yellow on its own, I think it looks cute as hell, I decided to add some dark brown to the outer edges of the eye to deepen up, like create some shadow, some dimension, and also it would make it a little bit more elaborate. So I don't know, you can skip this step if you just want the yellow, but I did that and then to create some continuity, I took the same shade and I brought it down along the lower lash line. I'm even using the same brush that I used on the eyelid and I'm taking whatever excess product is on there and buffing it out on the lower lash line. Next I'm going in with e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in Liquid Gold and applying that to the inner portion of my lower lash line to catch the light, you know, make it look like I'm shining and cute and my eyes are big and whatever and glistening and cute. Because I am not doing falsies for this look, I am just going in with my favorite mascara at the moment, which is NYX's Worth the Hype. And if you know this mascara, you know that it's buildable, but I am really only doing one coat because I wanted to keep this eye look sort of light. And if I added too much on the lashes, and like the same reason I didn't wear falsies is because it would add too much darkness to it. For lips, I'm applying Milani's lip liner in 03 Nude. And what I do, because my top lip goes inwards at the corners, uh, is that I'll overline really only at the corners to make up for whatever isn't there. Then I'm just filling in the rest of my lips with the lip liner to make it all the same color. And then topping it off with some Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Here I'm applying some mascara to the bottom lashes with the same Worth the Hype mascara. How could I have forgotten to put on some highlighter when I did my base? I don't know. Is it the most important part of the face? Yes it is, but because I didn't do it, I'm doing it now. And I'm using e.l.f. Cosmetics Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls on my cheeks and nose. So this is it for look number one. As you can see, it was very simple to do. I only used three shades on the eyes and then basically liner and a gloss, aside from face makeup, of course. Um, but you guys, for those of you who have brown eyes and always envy people who have like light blue eyes or green or whatever and think that ours is boring, man, this shade makes brown eyes look like honey i don't know what it is but i found out i actually really like it so it turns out i look good as a fall leaf and now you can too if this is too much for a daytime look you can always cut out the dark brown and just rock the yellow on its own now moving on to look number two 
Starting off with Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Eye Primer on the eyes, like I should have on my first look, but I forgot, so I'm doing it now, just prepping it for the eyeshadow. Now taking this burgundy shade from the NYX Ultimate Warm Rust Palette, I'm just applying that, like packing it on the eyelid without worrying too much for like blending it, just because I want to build up the color first and then buff it out. For that I'm just doing soft circular motions along the edge of the color that I put down. And then as you can see you just get this buffed out color that's really blended to perfection. Next, taking the dark brown shade from the same palette, I'm doing what I did on the first look and I'm just deepening up the outer edges of my eyes just to create some dimension. Taking the lightest metallic shade from the same palette, I'm just applying it onto my eyelid with my fingertip. It's the easiest thing you can do and it just wraps up the whole eye look and makes it look pretty and cute. For the lower lash line, I grabbed some dark green from Morphe's 35V Stunning Vibes palette and uh, I just applied it on the outer corner, like outer half of the lower lash line and I'm a little bit iffy about having done this but I feel like at the end it all pulls together. And now going back to that yellow shade from the first look that I love, as you can see, because I'm using it again, I'm just popping it in the inner corner just to give it that pop of color. And now we have the full blown spectrum of like fall leaf colors, which is I guess what I was going for. Also, yes, I am using a lip brush on my inner corners, but you have to make rash decisions when all your brushes are dirty. That's just how it is. For lips, I am applying Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Shook, again overlining the corners to get that fuller lip effect. Here I was feeling a little bit weird still about my lower lash line and you know what they say, when in doubt, wing it out. So that's exactly what I did with Kat Von D's tattoo liner and tried to salvage the situation with a little cutting action. For lashes I'm using Ardell's Demi Wispies and I'm just applying them with Revlon glue I think and letting them dry and bitch we are done with look number two. And it seems like we were able to make up for me getting carried away with wanting to look like a fall leaf. But yeah, after putting on liner and lashes, the whole look came together to form what is definitely something I would wear on a night out, not during the day. But you know, it's good to have options. And now that fall is here, it's good to have fun with these colors. So let me know down below which look you like the most. And whether or not you want me to do more fall looks or whether I should just jump right into Halloween makeup. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe and join the Fluffle and be a part of the Rabbit fam. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!